Bernilda Quinones has a lot to balance. She works full time as the outreach coordinator for the breast health program at Robert Wood Johnson University Hospital in New Brunswick. Now that her children are grown, Bernilda is fulfilling her dream of going back to school to become a nurse and a midwife. She's one of 12 students in the hospital's New Paths to Professional Nursing project. It gives frontline healthcare workers like Bernilda a chance to become RNs. This program actually has allowed us to have structure. Um, prepare us with the academics as far as all of the sciences and the requirements in order for us to be successful registered nurses. The program is funded by a $250,000 grant from New Jersey Health Initiatives, a statewide grant making program of the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation. Dr. Bob Atkins, director of the New Jersey Health Initiatives, is a registered nurse himself. He understands what makes a good nurse and says these pathway participants have all the right qualities. I was having my blood work done, just regular typical blood work, and this individual who did the blood work is obviously an expert. She took it very seriously. She was, had great interpersonal skills. She was technically proficient in what she did. She was reassuring. She was compassionate. She had all these qualities that we want to see in nurses, and I said this person should be a nurse. The project's goal is to give valuable frontline employees who want to become professional nurses the support they need to get a bachelor's degree in nursing. They have to maintain a 3.3 grade point average. They have to maintain at least part-time employment. Um, if they do all those things at the end of two years, they're um, guaranteed a spot at Rutgers University Nursing School and they're also guaranteed a position at Robert Wood Johnson once they graduate and become RNs. The majority of them have um, had to put their dreams on hold because of life situations. Being a teenage mom, you push everything aside in order for your children to be successful. Um, you think about their well-being, you want them to not need, although they do, because what can you do at the age of 16? How many hours can you work? How much more can you provide? Hospital officials were surprised at how many employees applied. When we applied for the grant, we thought maybe we'd get, you know, maybe 10, 15 applicants, you know, 20 applicants at the max. We had over 90 people. 100% of the 90 people that came through said they wanted this opportunity to not only make it better for themselves, better for their families. They wanted to inspire their kids, wanted to inspire their community that if they could do it, anybody could do it. Ryan Gutierrez has worked at Robert Wood Johnson University Hospital for 10 years. He's a census coordinator handling patient flow and bed assignments. He's married, has two kids, and his mother has been a nurse at the hospital for 30 years. Now it's his turn. I will hope uh, to make them proud, um, make my wife proud. Uh, I know she's, she's pulling for me really big. Um, and I just want to show my kids that uh, I'm something and <laughs> I can uh, finish something and be a part of uh, you know, a great community. Sharon Maples has worked at RWJ for 15 years. She started in the ER and now schedules surgery in the OR. She just attacks everything the way that you saw her at work. I mean, she is in charge and, you know, people are coming to her and asking her about, you know, this OR room and that OR room and, you know, she's on the spot. She knows how to do her job really well. Shira's goal, to be an RN and the operations manager of the OR. Just being around all the nurses here, especially in this department, is uh, the pulse of the hospital. It's where if you're broken, we fix you. If you're ripped open, we fix you. Um, it's a, a, a great community organization, it's a family. Nursing program participants meet every month to share what they're learning and what they're going through, lots of emotion. Shira admits she's stressed trying to balance her job, school, and caring for a nine-year-old who's frustrated that mom is always working or studying. The other week she said, I don't even wanna live with you anymore, I wanna go live with my grandparents. So, <laughs> It's just, um, I don't see myself, I'm a leader. I'm not like, I mean, I'm a part of a team, but I'm a leader. I see myself in leadership and I just, 
it just had to be hard. Like, do you give up your dream? Or do you Don't stop. raise your kids? It's hard now, but it is worth it in the end. So somehow find the balance and those moments where you can capitalize on being with your child. And that passion and leadership that you have, don't lose that. Not a lot of people have that. No, and I own it. And you, and you will get there. For Shira and the other aspiring nurses, it's a lot of hard work and sacrifice, but all of the students are focused on the end result, an RN degree, and a guaranteed nursing job in a familiar setting at Robert Wood Johnson University Hospital. I would say that I'm excited to see what happens with the next generation of nurses coming up in the community, from the community, continuing to take care of the community.